All right, Statue Hunter 75 coming to you here with a really, really beautiful piece. Um, this was, uh, you know, I saw this guy previewed at the New York Comic Con, and I'm, I was trying to get out of the Mortal Kombat line, which I definitely am not buying more Mortal Kombat stuff. I'm hanging on to my Jade Quarter Scale and probably maybe this guy. I don't know. I really, he's one-third scale, and I really want to get a few more one-third Street Fighters. So I got the two shins i want to get that chun li in the dress probably and i don't know so this guy i might pot with if the price is ridiculously good i'll pot with him uh, but uh if not i don't know i'm really liking him i'm loving the skull head it looks you'll see in a minute but you know he came with this instruction manual of uh you know pop culture shocks doing it really good really nice gives you nice directions and everything and uh here is the number that I got. It's obviously it's the Mortal Kombat Classic Scorpion one third scale statue. This is the certificate of authenticity with Jerry Macaluso, president of Pop Culture Shock, uh, 164 of 250. And I just want to let people know I got my shipping notice on him after all this nonsense about pop culture the people spreading rumors or trying to just make things look worse than they are about the taxes and all this stuff anyway everything's fine they shipped it out to me they're not stealing money and not sending statues so i'm here to definitely clear that up and i'm sure everyone also cleared up when they start <clears throat> showing you guys that they're receiving their statues so this guy came perfect thank god like i said he was number 164 out of 250 this certificate said um the base is beautiful i gotta watch how i spin him because it does have a light up feature which i'll turn on the light up feature looks really nice it's a nice clear resin it looks like actual lava uh, i love the look of it the base looks really good there you can see i'm not lit up and lit up so it really looks like actual lava it looks really really nice light up feature uh, I like the skulls on the base and the bones just pretty 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 nice dark base for a scorpion obviously his theme is skull and bones and you'll see in the back here it's a US um, not a USB a AC adapter plug and the switch is right there on the other side of the skull. Nice easy switch. Let's spin them back. And um, let's get to the statue. I'm just going to take it slow here. This is a beautiful piece. Of course, like it had in the New York Comic Con, it's got the blood splatter all over the boot and the shin guard. Um. Both shin guards got blood splatter. It's got blood splatter on the cloth, on the fabric. Of course, it's all mixed media mostly, his costume. Uh, let's get back to the boots. Another great feature. This is fabric here. This is sculpt, the shin and the guard. And this is like leather with a buckle or a sculpt of a buckle. Just really nice detail on the boots. Nice detail on the whole statue. This thing is beautiful. I was actually tempted to sell him just because of space with all these one-third scale statues i mean i got a, little, a couple of street fighters i already got the both shins i got a you know a couple of reuse and i was thinking again that chun li in the dress um the exclusive um, i just don't know if i'm gonna have room but i really want to hang on to him you're gonna see why i don't know i mean if someone makes a ridiculous offer for him i might have to pot with ways with them but i think i might just find space somehow but the blood splatter looks awesome. Nice detail all over. Nice sculpture on the veins. And this is actual fabric leather through the sculpt, which is another nice touch. Leather. I wonder if that leather is actually holding the sculpt because it is leather all the way through. I know it's glued in. The chain is a nice feature. Obviously, the spear tip of his get over here scorpion <laughs> that's a horrible scorpion impression but whatever you see the blood all over it really nice loving the costuming loving the musculature and the veins 
The back looks great. Back of the head looks awesome. Nice blood splatter everywhere. He definitely is battle hardened. Let's uh I still haven't even got to the best part, which I love the most is the I guess the switch out I don't know if you call it exclusive. They only did one version, but the skull head just freaking looks beautiful. Let's get a close up on him. On the face. Just really nice. The eyes, they did a really good job on the eyes. The wrinkles in the eyes, the fabric of the mask, it's nice and tightly fitted to him. Just a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful sculpt, beautiful costume all around. Doesn't get any better. I'm loving it. Let me get some focus here. Got so many things in the background with all the statues that the camera's constantly going in and out of focus. Um, let me uh, let me get the skull head. We'll kind of try and do a side by side. Let's get the predator out of there. But just so you can see the two heads, the skull head is so menacing, and especially I'll show you the light up feature in the eyes. And I love how the neck is the spine. Oh, it's so nice. Thing is beautiful very happy with how this piece came out let's do that <laughs> just really nice work actually why don't I put you down for a split second and um, I'll just place you on the lava <laughs> let me just swap out the head real quick and show you what I mean it's a nice snug fit I'll do the rest of the review with the skull head. Let me shut off the light up feature because you're supposed to shut it off before you switch it. It's a little bit of a fit. You have to fine tune it to get him in. But once you get it, it's a nice fit. All right. Take a look at this badass. Oh, I love that light up feature. That looks so cool. The camera's not even doing it justice. Such a cool light up feature. Look at how you can see the predator through his skull and through the jaw. That's awesome. And I love the spine, how it sticks out. <laughs> so cool in three dimensional horror movie. Oh man, Jerry just did a great job on this piece. I believe Jerry sculpted this one himself too, and it freaking looks awesome. I'll give you another side by side. So actually, let me give you a nice close up of Scorpion so you can see how nice the eyes are painted with like the glazed over, glossed over white and the black eyeliner. Love it. Looks like uh, Revenge of the Ninja Show Kasugi. I think that was his name because he had the he used to wear the ninja mask with the black eyeliner on his eyes that, that's it it looks just like him i wonder and that was like an 80s flick jerry loves 80s stuff so i was wondering if he had that in mind when he was doing the sculpt it looks awesome so nice the mask just so badass all right let's go back up put them side by side <clears throat> you can see the two heads together with the light up skull Oh, just awesome. Awesome work. I love how the spine... <laughs> you do a 360 on that. I love how the spine sticks out. That's so cool. <laughs> that looks so awesome. Let's just get a nice close-up of the details of the skull. <laughs> Can't get enough of it. I love skulls, too. It's so cool with the red eyes. Anyway, there you have it. I think I've done a good review, a good thorough review of this guy, top to bottom. Just looks awesome. Very nicely done. Kudos to Jerry and team who worked on this. 
couldn't be better. Like I said, if someone makes me a ridiculous offer, I might have to part ways just because of space issues and all the other one third statues I got coming from Jerry. Got the Conan, the Rambo, a couple of the Ryu's, and the Chun Li on top of the already two Shinokuma, you know, Kuma and Shinokuma. So I might be forced my, to make some space. So I don't know. Although I'll hate to part with them. We'll see. Anyways, all right. I hope you guys enjoyed the review. And have a good evening.